if you have an individual managing digital presence for your business, whether in-house or freelancer, there are certain things they should be doing if you want to get the best result for your business. Unfortunately, so many people are not doing it and I want to share with you some of those things right in this video. The first one is tracking. I've analyzed a lot of websites and I've realized that so many people are investing so much effort in their online presence, but they are not tracking their website. If you are not tracking your website, you will not be able to tell exactly what is working and what is not working. You might have been investing a lot of money, a lot of resources in your social media presence, in your search engine optimization, but if you are not tracking anything on your website, you will not be able to tell what is working on your website, where people are leaving your website, where they're coming from, what device they are using, and so on and so forth. So if you want to be able to tell what is working on your website and what is not working, you need to track the activity on your website. And one of the tools you can use to effectively track the activity on your website is Google Analytics. Google Analytics is absolutely free as at the time of recording this video. So if you install Google Analytics on your website, you will be able to track what is happening on your website and you'll be able to see where people are coming from, what device they are using, where they are leaving your website and so on and so forth. So if you have not been tracking your website, go ahead and start tracking your website with Google Analytics and you'll be able to use the data to improve the result you'll get from your website. So that is the first thing I've realized that many people are not implementing despite the effort they are putting in their online presence. So the second one is not capturing the data from the users. A lot of people invest a lot of effort in their online presence. They drive traffic to their website, but when people visit the website, they are not collecting any information from the prospect. And when people come to the website and leave without dropping any information, you will not be able to reach out to them subsequently if you have any important thing you want to send to the users of your website. So if you want to be able to do this, you want to market to these people subsequently, it is very, very important for you to capture their information when they come to the website so that you can use different channels like email marketing, WhatsApp marketing to reach out to these people subsequently and sell your products to them. So this is another thing that many people are not implementing on the website, despite the fact that they are investing a lot of effort in their online presence. So the third one I have for you right now is not leveraging multiple platforms to their advantage. I've seen people capitalizing all their effort on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, on Twitter, and so on and so forth. However, there's something they don't know. This platform can shut it off at any time. So what will happen if you get shut out of the platform that you are relying on? That means that you will find it difficult to get customers for your business. Instead of allowing this to happen, it's advisable for you to use multiple platforms to your own advantage. Leverage platforms like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and so on for your business. So when you use all of these platforms together, you'll be able to build stronger online presence for your business. And whatever happens to one platform will not actually affect your business to the core. So that is why it is important for you to leverage multiple platforms and then you will be able to prevent yourself from running into problem when a particular platform decides to shut down your account on the website. So that is one of the things you have to take note of and a lot of people are not doing this. So if you have some teams managing your online presence and you realize that they are focusing all their efforts on one social media platform or one platform as a whole, make sure you encourage them to leverage other platforms so that you can get the best result for your business. I'm a Google advertising specialist, but despite the fact that I'm used to Google ads, I still use social media advertisement for my business. So you can see, I do not because I can advertise my business on Google and YouTube, ignore social media. I still use social media to advertise my business. And this is one of the things you should be doing for your business. If you have been advertising your business on social media like Facebook or Instagram, don't limit everything to that platform. Start leveraging on other platforms like TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, Google, and so on. So these are the things I have for you in this video, and I hope you learned something in the video. If you have any question or you want me to help you to get certain things done for your business, I will be glad to do that. So go ahead and look at the link anywhere in the video. Click on the link and visit my website to make a request, and I'll be glad to work with you. However, if you have some questions you want to ask now, drop your questions in the comment section and I will do everything possible to address your question. Thanks again for watching the video and bye for now.